Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar on Dropship Basics, the latest in WindowBook's educational webinar series. My name is Monica Lundquist, and I'm the Postal Affairs and Technical Support Manager here at WindowBook. Assisting me today, Mary Bush, our Manager of Client Resources. The agenda for today's webinar is to explain the basics of dropshipping, such as the official definition. Also, to explain why dropshipping is used and the potential benefits. We will also cover the steps to facilitate dropshipping. Then we will be turning over the presentation to Mary Bush, who is WindowBook's Manager of Client Resources, and she'll be giving us a live demo of our DATMAIL toolbox software, which includes many dropshipping functions. Now keep in mind that this webinar covers the basics of dropshipping. We will be covering more advanced dropshipping topics in our Dropship Advanced webinar, which is scheduled for this Thursday, May 10th at 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. The most basic definition of dropshipping originates in actually in the retail world, where it describes the process of shipping parts or merchandise to the customer or to the retail store from a distribution center. And this process is done to reduce inventory and transportation costs. In the mailing world, dropshipping is very similar. However, in the mailing industry, it is used to transport the mail closer to the ultimate recipient of the mail. Now, as you can see by this flow chart, the mail that is entered at a printing facility or printing plant, could be a letter shop or mail house, goes through a lot of steps. And this is illustrated by the red arrows in this flow chart. From the mail preparer, it's transported to an origin post office. There, it is sorted and then sent to a transportation hub at the origin or possibly to a transportation hub destination once it's sorted and transported. From there, it goes to a destinating processing facility, whether that might be an area distribution center or ADC or a sectional center facility or SCF or possibly both. And from there, it's sorted again and transported to the post office where it's going to be delivered to the ultimate recipient at their mailbox. Dropshipping bypasses a number of these steps. By means of the mailer transporting the mail from the origin facility directly to the destination NDC, SCF, ADC, or even the final delivery unit. And that's the green arrows that you see here. Mailers may transport the mail themselves, or they may contract with a third-party consolidator or a logistics provider to transport the mail for them. To facilitate the process of dropshipping, the Postal Service offers a program called Plant Verified Dropshipment, or PVDS. This program allows for the mail to be verified and paid for at the origin post office rather than at each individual additional entry office. The mail is then transported at the mailer's expense to the destination postal facilities, where it is accepted as mail that has already been verified and paid for. There are specific rules and regulations for the preparation of mail that is drop shipped, including preparation of a clearance document called a Form 8125. This form, which is completed by the mailer and then signed and dated by the postal clerk when the mail has been verified and paid for, travels with the drop shipped mail. At the destination post office, this 8125 form provides proof to that post office that the mail has already been verified and paid for at the origin office. PVDS is available for standard mail, for parcel select, bound printed matter, and periodicals mail. The Postal Service offers significant discounts in exchange for delivering letter or flat mail direct to the destination postal distribution facilities called network distribution centers, as we talked about earlier, NDCs, area distribution centers, or ADCs, and sectional center facilities, or SCFs. Also the destination delivery units, which are called DDUs. The Postal Service calls this work sharing which means that in exchange for reducing the Postal Service's freight costs and processing time, postal customers can achieve postage discounts. The Postal Service has 29 NDCs and approximately 400 sectional center facilities across the U.S., although this number is being reduced with the network optimization plan that the Postal Service has been discussing. We've been sending out e-tips about this topic, 